With so many choices of styles and colors, wearing a life jacket has become a normal and important part of all types of water recreation. A popular choice in wearable life jackets is inflatables because they're lightweight and very comfortable to wear. If an inflatable is your choice for a life jacket, there are some things that you must know, including how to properly care and maintain it so it will always be ready and work when you need it. Let's start with some of the facts up front. Inflatable life jackets are not to be worn by anyone younger than 16 or under 80 pounds and are not recommended for weak or non-swimmers. They are not suitable for high impact water sports like riding personal watercraft, water skiing, white water paddling, wakeboarding, or similar toad uses where you are more likely to enter the water at high speeds. Check the laws in your state and the manufacturer's instructions for other possible restrictions. An inflatable is designed to be worn on the outside of your clothing. When you put it on and buckle it up, adjust the straps so it fits comfortably snug, allowing room for it to inflate. Finally, you should be aware that abrasions and sharp objects can cause damage. There are a number of brands and styles of inflatables that can fit your recreational lifestyle. Before you choose which is best for you, make sure that it is Coast Guard approved. The two main styles of inflatable life jackets are the suspender and belt styles. There are also styles available with dual flotation that provide some buoyancy before inflation. The suspender style fits over your shoulders and around your neck. When inflated, it's already in place and ready to keep you afloat. The belt style must always be worn in front of you because when it's inflated, you have to manually put it over your head. There are two types of inflation mechanisms. For the manual only activation, you must pull the cord tab to inflate it. It's great for activities such as swimming and stand-up paddle boarding where you know it's going to get wet. However, if you're knocked unconscious, someone else with you must pull the cord to inflate it. The automatic mechanism on inflatable life jackets that have both manual and automatic capabilities may take 4-7 to seven seconds to inflate. This is one of the reasons inflatable life jackets are only recommended for people who can swim well and tread water. The automatic mechanism is activated by either a bobbin or a hydrostatic device. The bobbin has a substance that dissolves quickly in water to inflate the life jacket. Some suspender styles have hydrostatic activation. This means inflation is triggered by water pressure. Water has to be at least 4 inches up on the life jacket to trigger the inflation mechanism. You will find an oral inflation tube on all inflatables. It offers an alternative method to inflate your life jacket. The tube is also used to deflate the life jacket. When not in use, the oral inflation tube dust cap needs to be in the stowed position. It's not recommended to wear an inflatable life jacket if the outside temperature is freezing or below because the CO2 cylinder may not adequately inflate it. If worn in these conditions, partially pre-inflate it after putting it on, or top it off after inflation by using the oral inflation tube. The type of life jacket you choose will depend on what you're comfortable with, your swimming abilities, your confidence while in the water, the water conditions, and your activity. Become familiar with how your inflatable life jacket works. Before you use it, read the owner's manual that came with your life jacket. Always follow the manufacturer's use, care, and maintenance instructions. It's recommended that you purchase two rearming kits with your new life jacket. A CO2 cartridge will come with your new life jacket, so use one to test your new life jacket in shallow water so you'll know what to expect if you ever need it to save your life. After you rearm your life jacket, keep the other rearming kit with you as a spare. When purchasing a rearming kit, make sure it's the correct type for your life jacket according to the grams and life jacket model. Rearming kit prices can vary, so check around for the best price. All inflatable life jackets have a bladder and a CO2 cylinder that cause it to inflate. Your life jacket, including the bladder and CO2 cylinder, 
must be maintained according to manufacturer's requirements to ensure it works properly. It's best to keep a record of maintenance and inspections performed on your life jacket for reference. Before every use, check to make sure that your life jacket is free from damage such as rips, tears, or holes that might prevent it from inflating. Check that all seams are securely sewn and that fabric, straps, and hardware are still strong. Make sure there is an unused CO2 cylinder in your life jacket and that it's installed properly. Check that the cylinder has not been used by inspecting the tip to make sure it's not punctured. For screw-in type cylinder, only hand tighten. Make sure that the safety indicator is green, the pull cord tab is accessible and hanging freely on the outside, and the Velcro or zipper are properly closed. Check for dirt or mold. Clean with mild soap and water if needed. If you have an automatic manual style with a bobbin, you'll need to remove the CO2 cylinder and bobbin before cleaning your life jacket and keep them dry. Every two to six months, orally inflate your life jacket using the oral inflation tube. Make sure it's completely inflated and it holds air for at least two hours or more in a temperature-controlled environment. If your life jacket does not hold air, it should be replaced. The CO2 cylinder also requires maintenance, besides having to replace the cylinder after every CO2 inflation. Some CO2 cylinders have an expiration date and some have a manufactured date, so check for those dates. All hydrostatic activation devices have an expiration date. For automatic manual inflatable life jackets that have a bobbin activation in them, the bobbin must be replaced every three years or more often if used in high humidity. Check the manufactured date printed on the bobbin and replace it if it's older than three years. On hydrostatic activated inflatable life jackets with a zipper, make sure it has both zipper stops in place when repacking your life jacket. Follow the manufacturer's instructions in the owner's manual or on the life jacket's labels when rearming and repacking your life jacket. Instructional rearming and repacking videos for your model of life jacket may be available online. Your life jacket should not be stored wet. It should be dried in open air and not in direct sunlight or with any artificial heat source. Store it in a cool, dry place that is well ventilated and not on your boat or vehicle to prevent unintentional inflation. Avoid storing your life jacket where moisture and humidity may be high or anywhere that water may get to it. While enjoying your favorite water-related activity, keep in mind that most water-related fatalities occur on calm, sunny days. Inflatable life jackets are nice and comfortable enough to wear at all times when in, on, or near water. So choose the right one for you and your activity, and please wear it. Learn more at pleasewearit.com and follow Please Wear It on social media. Remember, life jackets worn, nobody mourns.